guys, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter and I'm super excited to share with you my very first project as a design team member for Renea Bouquets. I did do uh, some guest spots a couple of months ago and I was invited to come along as a permanent design team member. So I want to say a huge thank you to Renea for allowing me to do so and to work with her gorgeous projects. I will be showcasing some of those here today of course and I want to begin by saying that you can go ahead and use the links that I will be leaving in the description box below for any of the items that I mention here. And I also will be placing pictures and a description of this project with the links on my blog, which is www.paintsandglitter.com. So if it's easier for you to follow along that way, then you'll have that for your convenience. And I will try to share as much detail as possible in that manner. So to begin, this is a bit of a journal is what I would call this. And I did use tonic dyes if you're interested in that. It was my very first time using these dyes. So it was a bit of a learning curve, of course, whenever you're new with a product. But I did try to incorporate as much and into this book that would play along well with the papers and the colors and the textures and all of that, which is what I like to do. So to begin here, I'm going to show you in this upper uh, left hand corner, the flowers that I use and the lighting does not do this justice in my room. I'm working here with uh, as much natural light as possible, but sadly I'm not getting much today. But here, what you see are these mulberry flowers that Renea has in her shop. These beautiful creamy white flowers with this bit of lavender just on the tips. And what I've done is incorporated the chunky glass glitter and the moon beads that you can get in her shop. And for the corners here, I've incorporated the printed board that you can get from Renee Bouquet. It comes just in that beautiful lavender color. It almost looks as if you've done the work of using mixed media, but it's all done for you. And that does come in a set. Here's another piece that I've used to reinforce this seam binding that I've used for the closure. And this gorgeous button here, that's also from Renee Bouquet's. Here's another piece. And then on this side, what I did was that I did thread this seam binding and added one of these gorgeous little beads that you can get from Renee Bouquets with the glass inside. I've also used another uh, board piece here that is a little ivy and I've left it alone. I didn't color it. Um, and that paired up with this gorgeous piece here. This is also a printed board piece. And if you could just see the detail in that, it's absolutely stunning. So I put her here on the front, another mulberry flower cluster. Those little bitty ones also come from Renee Bouquets as well as the leaves. And then I topped it off with this absolutely stunning dragonfly. Look at the shine on that. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And so those are just some of the pieces that you can get from her shop. But look at the lace. This lace here, I paired up two different kinds and I'm gonna show you what those look like. One of them is this wider piece here. And th this is what it looks like uh, on its own. Beautiful on both sides. So if you have difficulty telling the back from the front as I do, it won't matter. It'll still look so beautiful. And then here's the other piece that I incorporated here in the front. I thought it was absolutely lovely. So what I did was that I layered that there and then used it as the decoration for the spine. And it even goes all the way to the back of the book, which I think is just gorgeous. So when you open this book, it opens by untying this. And it's quite chunky if you couldn't tell already. I just put a little key there to hold that seam binding and a butterfly from the paper collection, which happens to be Prima. It's my first time working with this lavender paper and it's just a color that I really enjoy. So here on the first page, right off the bat, I did make a shaker. And what I wanted to do was show you how you can incorporate the micro beads from Renee Bouquet's shop there are two different colors in there as well as some sequins, but the little micro beads that you see there that are that nice deep purple and the pink, they're, they're both from Renee Bouquets. And this printed heart is also beautiful board and it's nice and sturdy and you can incorporate that into any project, of course. You don't just have to make a shaker with it, but I thought it was really pretty and I wanted to put that as the front page 
and I've also used another printed beautiful board piece here for just uh, an added little detail on that buckle that I made there. So on the next page, as you see here, I've incorporated some more lace from Renee Bouquet's sh shop here, just as a detail there on the side of that page. And then as you can tell, here's another little dragonfly, but this one's different. It has a gorgeous little print there of these lilac flowers and then that little pearl I like to get nice up close so that you can see the detail on that. It's got that chunky glitter on it. It's just absolutely spectacular. And that tiny little bud that you see there, that little rose, is also from her shop. So she does have quite a variety of different colors that you can use for your projects. And this is just a page that opens with the flips and all of that stuff. I try to incorporate uh, the dyes in my stash, of course, and make use of what I have. And... Here, this other page is quite simple. I just put some a little tab here with some pearls, and this opens up, and you can remove this, add a picture, or use that for journaling. I just wanted to show, of course, that you can just play around with a product that's just a little piece, leftover piece of lace. And I just added it there for texture because I don't like to let things go to waste. The next page here shows on the left, another little dragonfly, and of course those are some of my favorites from Renee Bouquet, so I wanted to make sure to incorporate those in this project. I made a tiny little envelope here, and this is just a little tuck spot, and this book is um, very layered, but it does have some simple pages, and I just wanted to keep that simple there so I could incorporate a picture just like so and use that as a little tuck spot, but it also has a little tag that I could remove and place a date on that. On the opposite page here, another thing that you can do, which I did here, is that I place another little rosebud here, just on the tag that holds this paper, and it's just a nice little detail, and of course I use my little trims and that sort of thing. Um, and that's just a simple little tag that goes into this side pocket here, and what you see here from Renee Bouquets is actually not just that tiny little flower, but that chunky glass glitter that I've used in the past as well. I incorporated those into those little clips that I can add to my page, and I absolutely love that little touch of glimmer. So here, these um, pages are also side pockets, so just wanted to show that. You can definitely add more pictures and journaling and that sort of thing with that sort of page. Here, what I did was that I just incorporated a little tag here, or tab, so that I could open this page, if I can untie it, <laughs> here we go, and I just made it a top flap like that, and it's got this beautiful gold gilding here, as well as the tags and everything, I just had fun playing with the paper, um, so that closes just like that. And on the opposite page, what I did was that I created a belly band here. Quite simple, but if you see the detail here, it's this absolutely gorgeous heart with another dragonfly. Now look at this one. This one's much darker, and it's got that dark purple. So if you like the darker purple, not so much the lighter lilac, you have that available to you also. And that beautiful heart is also from Renee Bouquet's. So moving along, this next page here just has a little tag as you can see and this gorgeous, gorgeous lady here is from Renee Bouquet's. It is another printed board piece and like I said I'll be leaving the links down below and I just thought she fit right into that Parisian theme so that's why I placed her on that page. The opposite page just has a little belly band here on the side, just nice and simple and then this one opens to allow for more room for pictures, just like that. And then back here, and this one just fell off, so I'm gonna have to place it again. I wanted to show you another page. This one unties on the side. And again, I'll have to replace that, but that little dragonfly is decorating my closure there. That opens like so, and just like that but I think it adds such a beautiful touch to any page or any project. 
And then on the opposite side, I just made a little pocket here with some tags that can be removed. Just very simple. On this last page, what I did was that I incorporated a butterfly from one of the laces from Renee Bouquets. It came just like this, and then I just snipped one of them off. I thought it looked lovely right here, and I also made the tag with another little butterfly there. And I just think that's such a delicate touch, and it's absolutely lovely. And then all of the little flowers that the little butterfly is resting on there have that chunky glass glitter also from Renee Bouquets. And I just layered that with some musical note vellum there and created a pocket. And then the very last page here has yet some more of that printed board on the corners here. So that's where I incorporated those other two there. And the little sentiment reads dream big and that's on top of another piece of lace also from her shop. So this finalizes my project share with items from Renea Bouquet's shop. I hope that you have enjoyed this video, that you leave me some feedback in the comments as far as what is your favorite page or what element did you like the most. And I hope as always that you can be inspired and be blessed. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.